So here we're comparing two situations. The first is the set of people who bought the ticket. And this we have 20 people that are 30 year old, 20 that are 25 year, and then another 20 that's 35 year. Now the key thing to recognize immediately here that the average, the weighted average here is 30 year. The reason for that is we have equal numbers of all three and then they're both the same distance away from the uh, average. Now they say that one person uh, falls ill and the actual number of people that go on the trip is 19 here and the rest of the numbers remain the same. They want us to compare uh, the standard deviation of the, uh, the two cases, the, the ones who went on bus tour versus who purchased the tickets. So the key thing to remember here is that the new average is still 30 year. Because anytime you remove uh, a value that same as the average, uh, the, the new average of a set remains the same. That's the general result. And if we look at the, the, the deviations of the average, which is 30 year, is, will be zero for all these 19 points, and would be zero here as well. And uh, what we're doing is to calculate the standard deviation, we have to average the deviations over all of these uh, data points. Now here, on average, you'll have fewer people closer to the center because you have one less, whereas you have more here. So here, the, the deviation would be greater on average because you have more points farther away from the average relative to here. So the standard deviation of the ages of the, uh, the people who went on the bus tour will be actually greater than uh, this. So that's, if you look at the answer choices, that's same as 